Hello. Uh, there's a new version of Camo Out, the app I'm using actually to record from my phone so I can use it as a camera on this recording as well as any other recording in Microsoft Teams, in Zoom, in Facebook Marketplace, WebEx, Tuple, all sorts of ways. Any ways that your Mac can use a camera, you can substitute your amazing iPhone camera for the crappy built-in webcam or the moderately okay uh, USB webcam you might have lying around. In version 1.3, they've got a bunch of cool updates that I want to show you, so let's dive in. So really, this is just an excuse to make another video about Camo, one of my favorite apps that's come out for macOS to enable most of us who don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a DSLR camera uh, to have better video instead of using webcam videos. In version 1.3, what Camo's added is support for multi-languages. So for anyone who doesn't understand me, this video won't really apply because you're not listening because you can't understand me. But anyways, they have 11 languages of support now in the app, which is great. From Camo, the app on your Mac, you can also pause the video. So if for some reason you need to leave, rather than figure out where the uh, turn off video is in uh, something like Zoom, let's say, you can just pull up Camo, hit pause, and then actually you're not seeing me now even in ScreenFlow, which is recording this. And then I can hit resume and the video's back going again. So once I'm back from a bathroom break. Just to quickly highlight too, you can uh, have multiple iOS devices plugged in, so you could choose different ones right here from Camo. You can have it in normal or portrait mode uh, where it simulates the portrait mode of the uh, of iOS and tries to do a little bit of blurring of the background. You can kind of see there how it's got my, my face highlighted in focus, but everything else around me as my hand moves, it's trying to focus. I kind of like just normal mode. And then you can also choose the lens. So you can use ultra wide, show the whole room, including the mess of cables and stuff back there. I'm between chairs right now, sorry. Uh, and then also the selfie mode, which is just gonna show the other wall behind me here. So I generally use the wide view. You can manually focus if you want to. It seems to do a pretty good job though of auto picking up the focus. If for some reason you wanted to drop the resolution down, maybe you're on a lower bandwidth connection or you know that you're, the people on the other end of the call are gonna be on a lower bandwidth connection, you could do that as well. And you can also choose where you want the audio to come from. I'm not actually using the audio. This is coming from my microphone obviously here, but you could use the in-camera microphone, which is, or in-phone microphone, which is pretty good considering that's what you're using if you record a video of your kids running around or at a concert or whatever. Um, so just depending on how you have your camera oriented you can choose whether you want the camera audio to come from the bottom or the camera itself. And of course, there's presets they've got, just to highlight a few, to give you an idea of what you can quickly set up if you want to do some black and white. And then of course, my favorite, Lemonia, Lemonia, something like that. <laughs> Which works great now in my new office. So you can also flip the video around if you wanted to for some reason and throw a watermark on there. Uh, your own logo or Camo's logo. And then you can also go through and, and dial in your own manual settings for exposure, white balance, flash levels, brightness, hue, saturation, contrast, gamma, sharpness, etc. So in addition to adding support for things like WebEx or better support for WebEx, Tuple, Facebook Workplace, and more, they've also added the ability to save an image right from Camo. So if you're wanting to save a screenshot or a camera shot, you can just go to file, save frame as. That probably won't be a great one demo screenshots and then you've got just go to my desktop there amazing i don't know why that isn't my profile photo everywhere at least you can do it now right inside of uh camo instead of having to do, maybe take a screenshot or whatever you sort of hack way you would do it before so so be sure to check out camo reincubate.com slash camo you've got a free version you can try and then you can upgrade to camo pro which will oh, it's going to uh, yeah, unlock all the features, remove the watermark, and use it on up to two computers. Thanks for watching. Back with uh, more audio, video related stuff in the next video. If you've got suggestions or comments or questions about what you'd like me to do, please leave that in the comments below. Be sure to also check out lemonaudio.club for how you can join me in the Discord and chat with other viewers of this YouTube channel about audio, video, nerdery, fun, live streaming, questions, all that kind of buzzwordy stuff. Bye.